In this video, the players have a go at Twister, Donkey has a slip, hey! and last minute scenes, don't you just love them? It's another day of FA Cup football and boy it's a big one because today we're taking on Paul Town in the third qualifying round at Bottom Meadow. Heading into this game, yeah things didn't go well did it against Beaconsfield on Tuesday. We got battered by Beaconsfield, meh. Since the last time we played Paul, and that was a 3-1 defeat at their place in August, they got rid of their manager Tom Killick, who was loved by their fans, and was replaced with former EFL striker Matty Tubbs. Along with that, many players left and started in Exodus, but despite losing in Matt Tubbs' opening game, their fortunes have surprisingly changed. I would absolutely love for us to get back to winning ways today and just to think next round the National League teams enter the fray. I mean, imagine Dorkin, Woking or Aldershot away. Wow. And just one round after that, the first round proper featuring League One and two sides. We can dream again. It switch away, anybody? So I've got a question for you guys today. Would you rather your non-league team won their league or made the FA Cup final? Think about it and let me know in the comments down below. The excitement is overwhelming for FA Cup fever, but as we arrive at Bottom Meadow, we have to predict, can we even make it through this stage? So I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw this afternoon. I reckon it will go to a replay at the Tatnam on Tuesday night. I wouldn't be able to make it, but to be fair, a draw would not be bad today. I think given our last few performances, I don't really mind if we lose today as long as we put in a much stronger performance and we get plenty of shots on target, that sort of thing. And also, it's a win-win for me today because if we win, great, we win and win to the next round of the FA Cup, potentially playing the National League side. But if we don't win, we still get to go to Dorchester away in a few weeks' time. And I love Dorchester away, it's a great place. So Gemma, obviously you went there Tuesday, it was an awful game. What is your score prediction? Before I start, before anyone tries to have a, a dig at me, I'm not being a Debbie Downer, but today I'm going to go a 2-1 win to Paul. You cannot be serious! And judging only by on what our recent performances have been like, uh, both away and at home. But hopefully Bracknell today can prove me wrong and we get into the next round. I mean, who knows? But let's just see what happens and wait and see. Hopefully today's a great atmosphere and a great attendance. It was last time we played here against these guys. Jamie Wiscombe, he was calling him Donkey throughout the first and second half. It was brilliant. And of course, when they scored the second goal, him and Luke Kenny, who've also left the club, they were just laughing at us. That's brilliant. So yeah, with that, let's get inside Bottom Meadow. <laughs> Right, it's time to look at Paul Town's recent records. Since appointing a new manager, Matt Tubbs, they lost 5-3 at Hazen Yedin. But since then, they've improved by winning two games back-to-back -back in the league. 2-0 against Gosport and 3-0 away at Hanwell. So they are looking to get back on a run now. And look, they, they did score three goals at Hazen Yedin. So they're not doing too bad for themselves. And maybe things will improve for them over the course of the season. Taking photos of balls. Is that standard procedure now? Really? Have a look. So this is new burger. What is it? Chicken cheeseburger. Mm. Looks alright, doesn't it? Leaky's going for the crossbar challenge. Oh, terrible effort. Take two. Oh. Oh, good save. Come on, the boys. Quite a few changes of Robins today. As you can see, Rusi's on the bench. We've got Elliot Leg coming in. We've got we've got George Knight starting. So maybe. This could be a big, big change that will reap its rewards. So hopefully we can do this. Come on! And here is Paul Towns' lineup. We've got Jamie Whiskin, the captain, starting. He's a player we called Donkey last season. I'm making waffles. Destiny Ojo, who's on loan from Portsmouth. He made the switch from only Gosport only recently. And of course, Wes Fogden to name as well, ex-Portsmouth player. And one of their top goal scorers, Tony Lee.
I think it's been really really good I think a m massive improvement on Tuesday both teams have had plenty of chances it has to be said I think we've probably been a slightly better team we've had a lot more I think we've had more chances there's three great chances on goal including Jordan Esprit which went straight to the goalkeeper but apart from that excellent so Gemma what's your thoughts on that half? No I think um, Bracknell's come out like today and I think they've been we've been the better team to be fair to them but I think second half I didn't think we first half sorry I didn't think we deserved to get that equal lives to there but I think second half we, we could possibly come out and go through the next round. Yeah, and our goal was Lodgy, it was a fantastic long ranger. What a strike that was, and their goal was just a bit of a scrappy one, wasn't it? But obviously if we win today we're through to the next round and that would mean Dorchester away we postponed. But yeah, come on you Robins, let's see, see what we can do in the second half. Make it 2 1, come on. It's like corner. Deny. Hey! Wow. Let's do that again. Oh, good ball. Oh, so close. Cross it. Oh, oh, hey, hey. oh hit the post right at the death there. Fair play to Travin Paul fans who have been making plenty of noise all game like they did last time here. Okay. Corner right at the death. Can we do this? One last chance before it becomes a replay. Oh.
another penalty right at the end. Can we definitely confirm the win? Can we definitely make the fourth qualifying round with this? Here come the National League teams now. Ben Harris, come on, smash it home. Oh, yeah. Yes! to next round. Come on you boys. Well, I cannot believe it. I'm absolutely breathless. We are through to the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. Two late, late penalties, well converted by Nana Awusu and that man, Ben Harris. Would you believe it? Could have a National League team away in the next round, which is Monday, the draw. So we could have Aldershot, Woking, Dorking, those sort of sides. Oh, wouldn't it be great to have one of those away days? But first of all, we've got to come to a very excited Gemma. What is your thoughts on that? Well, I don't know what to say. It was an incredible last few minutes. I've got two words for that game. Absolutely outstanding. I mean, there's no more what you can what really that you can say really because basically that we didn't deserve to lose. We were we come out from Tuesdays. Uh, we played terrible on Tuesday, but to come out and to win that game today that gave us more confidence, I think, for the next game on Saturday. But yeah, we we did definitely deserve that game. So what a way that is to get back to winning ways after two very disappointing performances. Is. Oh, Jim's got one more thing to say, actually. Yeah, I was just going to say, um, well done to, again to Bracknell, who proved me wrong today because I thought we was going to get that defeat, but my bad. But yeah, well done again. Yeah, and my prediction was wrong as well. I thought it was going to go... Well, my prediction was nearly right. Could have been a 1-1 draw, but luckily it wasn't. Right then, those two goals, fantastic. So next Saturday, we are away at Hamwell in the FA Trophy. So a boring tie that, but we'll be there anyway, so we're looking forward to that. Tuesday, I'll be somewhere else. But yeah, all those on Monday for the FA Cup draw. Well, anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, hopefully you have, feel free to leave a like. Surely it's worth a like, surely. And if you haven't already, then subscribe for more non-league vlogs. Well, what an afternoon. I just want to say as well quickly, fair play to the Travelling Pool fans. Once again, excellent atmosphere from them. They are one of the noisiest fan bases in this league, by my way, has to be said. I think they played all right at times. And it was great to have the banter with um, Jamie Whiskin, their captain. Hopefully it's all taken in good faith. You know, he must have loved it, really. Surely, if you're watching, you must have loved the banter. But I certainly love giving it, dishing it out during the game. Well, anyway, until then, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. Come on up the Robins! Yeah.